Hey everyone, in this video we're going to discuss two important curvature formulas and we'll use one of them to do uh, an example. So the first one is the following, so k equals the magnitude of t prime of t over the magnitude of r prime of t. So this is a pretty decent curvature formula to use. However, keep in mind here that t is the unit tangent vector. So t here is r prime of t over the magnitude of r prime of t. So um, you have to actually differentiate this um, to use the formula. So um, this could be difficult, right? There's supposed to be little arrows here as well. So that's one formula. Another formula, which only works um, for uh, curves in space because it has a cross product, is the magnitude of r prime of t uh, crossed with the magnitude of r double prime of t. And all divided by uh, the magnitude of r prime of t uh, quantity cubed. So let's go ahead and uh, do an example uh, using one of these formulas. So let's try maybe, how about this one? We have r of t, here's our vector valued function, and it's equal to uh, t i hat plus uh, t squared j hat plus t squared over 2 k hat. So, and the question is to find the curvature. So, curvature of this uh, vector valued function, uh, of the curve given by this vector valued function. So, um, I'm thinking we should use the second one because uh, when we differentiate this, let me show you what I mean. So, let's say you take the first derivative, right? So, that's going to be 1 i hat plus 2 t j hat plus, and then you bring the two down, so you just get t k hat. So if we were going to use the first formula, uh, we have to take the magnitude of this, right? Divide by, it, construct t, and then take the derivative. So that's going to be really nasty. So it might be better to try to use this formula. So let's try it. So we need the second derivative now. So our double prime of t. That's simply going to be, let's see, 0 i hat. Notice I put the zero there. Um, it's just a good reminder to have it because we have to take the cross product. Um, so that's why I write it. Uh, the derivative of 2t is 2. And then the derivative of t is 1. So we get 1 k hat. All right, so now let's take the cross product and that will be the numerator. Uh, well, the magnitude of that will be. So we have r prime cross r double prime of t. And that's equal to... Um, Let's see, i hat, j hat, k hat, right, taking the cross product. And then we use the components, so 1, 2t, and t. So 1, 2t, and t. And then 0, 2, and 1, right, 0, 2, and 1. And we'll call the cross, the cross product formula is plus minus plus. The first one is plus, so we have our i hat. And then we have, we cross out the corresponding row and columns. We cross out the first row and first column, so we get 2t, t, t to 1. Then it's minus j hat. Then we cross out the first row and second column. So we're left with 1, 0, t1. 1, 0, t1. And then I can finally cross something out. So uh, you cross out the row and column. We're left with uh, 1, 2, t. And then 0 and 2. All right, so this is equal to i hat. So it's 2t times 1, which is just 2t minus 2t. Oh, that's nice. That's going to be 0. It's really good. Minus j hat. So 1 times 1 is 1. Minus t times 0, which is 0. Again, pretty nice. Plus k hat. 2 times 1 is 2. Minus 2t two times 0 is 0. So we end up with um, 0 i hat minus j hat plus 2k hat. So that is the cross product. Went through that kind of quickly. So now we take the magnitude of that. So the magnitude of this cross product is going to be the square root of each of the components squared. So it'll be 0 squared. There is a negative 1 here, so we have to square that as well. So plus negative 1 quantity squared plus 
2 quantity squared. So we end up with 1 plus 4, which is 5. So we get the square root of 5. So recall the formula we were using is the magnitude of our prime of t crossed with the magnitude of our double prime of t. It's a double prime there, double prime, over the magnitude of our prime cubed. So this is the square root of 5 over, and our r prime, let me scroll up because I lost it, there it is, 1, 2t, t, t. So our r prime of t was 1, 2t, and then t. So that's in component form. So what we can do, uh, let me just double check that. Yep, there it is, right? 1, 2t, and t. So we just take the magnitude of that, and that goes in the bottom. So it's going to be the square root of 1 squared plus 2t squared plus t squared, right? The magnitude is the component squared, and all of that is cubed. Okay, so this is equal to the square root of 5 over, so 1 plus 4t squared plus t squared is 1 plus 5t squared. So you have the square root of 1 plus 5t squared cubed. So this is the square root of 5 over, we can write this in a nicer way, um, it's going to be parentheses 1 plus 5t squared to the 1 half cubed. So this is equal to the square root of 5 over, and then it's going to be parentheses 1 plus 5t squared. You multiply the exponents, 3 halves, and that is the curvature of the curve k. So I kind of went through that kind of quickly, uh, but basically all you do is you just pick a formula and use it. Again, if we would have used this one, I think it would have been much, much harder because we would have had to compute the derivative of t. Um, so in this case, this seemed like the better choice. I hope that was helpful.